welcome to another match of Pure Steel Paladin Cheerios. This hand is excellent and will be an easy keep. Oh, hi, Tron. Oh man, this is a traditional Tron, too. Alright. I'll show you Sacred Fountain and you will a Blooming Marsh Sylvan Scrying. Alright. So I'm not too current on what Tron plays, but I think I'm going to go for the slower win that involves the... If he doesn't have a removal spell now, I just win. Okay. Now if he has two removal spells, then it's more awkward. Is Chalice? No, this is probably another this is probably another self inscribings. So I'm not especially punished for not going for it last turn. Like he kills my guy, but now I re reload the next turn with another guy. Alright. How far can we go before we fizzle out or win? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Retract. Need an opal. Need an opal. Got it. All right, we win. Almost certainly winning. Because we have just so many retracts in hand. Uh, we still don't have the capability of playing another two drops, so we can't really worry about it. Now there's no particular reason to, because we have the Noxious Revival. We can just Noxious... Oh, and another Retract, yeah. Thirty-four! Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a Grape Shot. Alright. Uh, red Mana? Another Mox Opal? And grape shot for 40 on turn three. Through a fatal push. Doo, 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 doo. I really wish there was a way to uh, automatically say select all, do all of the storm things on the same target. If there's some storm player that plays lots of storm and knows how to do that, let me know. Yay! We win. All right. Um. Uh. There's too much of a risk of... Uh, do they play Chalice? I don't know if they play Chalice. Uh, this is not a matchup where I care for paradoxical outcomes. Um, can shave a spider silk net, probably? I can't remember if they what, what kind of hate they might play. Um, and I'm boarding in Fragmentizes just in case they have Chalices. Hmm. Let's see. My tablet suggests that they have no particularly good sideboard tech. 
Uh, this hand is one land away from being great, so that's a keeper. And we just pray for land. There's an entirely real possibility we just fail to hit a land in the number of turns it takes for him to get Tron online, and we just lose, but... Eh. Yeah, I know this is going to be a fatal push, but... What? No fatal push? Alright. How many cards do I draw this turn? See, the real nice thing about this deck is that when you combo start comboing off, assuming they don't kill your guy, even if you fizzle like I have here, I still have tons of gas in my hand to reload next turn because you're guaranteed that at the end of your comboing off chain, you have no zero mana artifacts in your hand because you, you would have played them all. So that means everything left in your hand is either lands or more two drop combo pieces or something, you know, draw spells or, or retracts or something like that. So it's super easy once you've started comboing off, if they don't, you know, play horrible lock pieces or, or something like that, to just keep comboing off on the next turn and, and reload and win when you untap and have more mana and more land drops. Might as well get a save Hollow Fountain and play a SRAM and start going. Attract. All right. actually have quite a lot of cards to draw uh, before this is great. Draw another opal. I think, as much as it pains me to do so, so I'm going to stop here. I'm, I'm actually really worried about him going uh, last Tron piece and then uh, Oblivion Stone. So I'm going to discard and land. I get to keep two more cards. I want to keep Mox Opal and I want to keep Sigil of Distinction. I think I can uh I think I can actually discard SRAM. And a Serum Visions. Um Fragmentize lets me deal with potential um Oblivion Stone and then, then him holding it up. Uh, because I can force him to use it. So here he had to Sylvan Scrying for this, and now I get to fragmentize that. Assuming I fizzle off on my comboing. Which is possible, but um, I'm going to start from here first. Uh, or do I just want to play another Pure Steel? I think I can play another pure steel, and then um, I just guarantee—not uh, guaranteed, but um, almost guaranteed—to make it with the comboing off. Um, ba -do -do -do. Hmm. I'll go ahead and. Uh, 
turn and vision, see what happens. Alright, so we got Paradise Mantle next turn. We do have two things there. So this, uh, I need to equip over the Paradise Mantle to fragmentize that. So if he has another, uh, we could be in big trouble if he has another Oblivion Stone. I think that's the that's the biggest danger, is him having another Oblivion Stone and then just destroying so many artifacts that we don't have enough stuff left in our deck to build the requisite storm count to win. But if he doesn't have um, another Oblivion Stone, even like Karn, Ugin, Ulamog, I mean, what's he going to exile that's going to make a difference, right? Nice. You have a you have a Karn. I guess I lose a Seatrum Ghost. Mm, oh no. Um. All right. Let's draw. Draw three cards and get my last retract, and that should do it. I'll add a blue there, and add a blue, he blue here, might as well. Uh, nope, don't want to, don't want to pass the turn. I'm gonna turn off my pure steels so that I don't draw myself. Um, turn off the pure steel so that I don't accidentally draw myself to death because I have enough, uh, I have enough artifacts in hand to win. Or to draw, draw the rest of my deck with SRAM, and I don't need the Pure Steel's drawing cards anymore. Sigil of Distinction is excellent, as you saw in the previous game, but it's kind of on, annoying on Moto since it's a... Um, X cost spell, I have to say, oh, I don't want to pay X. Alright, I want it. X is zero. Alright, 18, this should be enough. And then if I need more, then I can just Noxious Revival. Um, the Grape Shot back. And... win like that. Alright. Uh, so this was, this was a bit slower of a kill. We took our time about it. I'll fizzle a few times, and it was still... <laughs> Still turn four. Uh, no, don't want to go to Karn. Alright, alright. 2-0 with Cheerios.